The feud between Gordon Obaseki and Adam Toshomale may linger into the new year. And the federal government claims it is a Kaduna state government that is responsible for El Zazaki's continued detainment. But federal government proscribed the group and the Nigerian police shot at protesters. But we have to wait for the Kaduna state government to release him. This is Plus Politics and I am Benny Ark. The ongoing war between the governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseki, and the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Adam Zoshomali, seems to be deepening as the governor has stated that President Mahmoud Bari has directed the state faction of the party to sanction the national chairman. And joining us to discuss this is political analyst Larry Eminike. Thank you for joining us on Plus Politics. Thank you very this much. Evening. It's my pleasure. Yeah. Now, let's get straight into it this evening. Now, what is your take on? The happening. It seems it's lingered for a while now. The APC in house seems there's a whole lot of rumble going on in the APC between Adam Zoshomale and Governor Obaseki. What's your reaction to this, please? I think it's one of those things that uh, in politics, you know, some of us that, uh, you know, re will remain by the sidelines feel so bad about because a situation whereby a, not a national party chairman of a political party and the governor in the state are having some certain uh, issues goes to have some certain uh, adverse effect you know to the running of governance in that particular state and even in the nation as you know in general so it has been lingering for a long time and uh, there was a time i think the last time we, i came here it was all about you know, uh, uh, the governor calling the national chairman a pathological liar, yeah. and uh, the reply coming from the governor, from the chairman's side, about uh, the insincerity of the, the, the governor and uh, his bad governance, and the, you know, seemingly yeah. issue that came out with it. And uh, since all those times, the, the state has not known any peace. So, and now, if you look at the reality of now, based on the pronouncement of uh, the governor, as regards the influence of the presidency, you know, saying that the president has given them, asked them to sanction Oshomole. Yeah. And I think that is where he derived that boldness in the first place, you know, to even make that pronouncement through the party chairman that a natural chairman of, a, of the political party in the center, you know, has been sacked. And today we've not had uh, so much strong reaction coming from the, 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 the national chairman who happens to be a former governor of that particular state and even, you know, by main suggestion, the, the godfather of the present day governor. So it's not good for our politics as far as I'm concerned. It's a bad thing and it's a bad experience for the, the people of Edo State because that thing is stampeding, you know, the thorough governance of that state based on, you know, why they voted that political party in the first place. Yeah, now, but from, from, the, gov from the governor's camp, they've, they've, they've come to debunk the fact, I'm sorry, from Oshomale's right, camp, okay. they've, they've debunked the fact that President Mahmoud Buhari never gave such instruction. Um, what would you have to say to that? Are they supposed to be in the know? I think the directive was given to the governor. It was the governor that was, uh, you know, making that suggestion, you know, that uh, the presidency, the president has asked them to sanction Oshomale. So I don't want to go into hearsay or maybe yeah. this, this person say this or this person say that. I think if we want to be sincere with ourselves, it's left for the presidency, you know, to come up and uh, take a stand. As far as, because based on our, the, the present day reality in our political sector, the president remains the chief, you know, the head of all the political, the, any president is the head of the political party that he, he himself came out from. Now, beyond, beyond the, 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 the faction of the APC in those states, would, would you say what is going on in those states between Oshomale and Governor Basaki is the microcosm of what actually might be happening in the APC right now? Which is no, basically, APC, if, you, together. No, if you look at a house divided against itself cannot stand. It, it's, it costs a cross, but almost in all many APC you know, states, you know, from uh, Imo State, you saw what happened there during the time of Rocha Sukorocha. It, it trickles down to Edo State, to almost everywhere you know, they are in charge. There is almost this uh, internal wrangling, you know, and even 
to some certain extent, you will discover that there is this uh, center influence. I mean, Abuja's influence, you know, regarding that. If you can go back for when Oyegu was there, you know, almost all those things were happening then before they skimmed him out of the system. And you should also not forget that the former chairman of APC, I mean, in the person of Adigi Oyegu, you know, stands behind the present day governor. So there are a lot of things that is not good working for APC, you know, as a political party. And my fear is that whether that political party will stand after the pres you know, the, the, the current president. Yeah, who current. seems who seems to be the major, you know, actor within or, or, or will I say the symbol of that political party. Now, now, critically, this is not the first time there have been calls for the resignation of the sack of Adams or Shomale from um, words have been out there for a while. Now, do you think Adams or Shomale seems to be the problem of the party? Or there's, there's more to it than actually is not being said and talked about? No, when you look at the person of Adam or Shomale, you will remember also that the former, I don't know whether he's still there, his own deputy chairman of the political party in the center has issues with him which has to do with corruption. Yes. During the last election, there was a lot of you know, corruption allegations against Oshomole. And even to today, nothing has been heard of it. So, so many of them have been calling you know, for the head of uh, Oshomole. I, I, I mean, you understand what I mean? For his sack, mm. if I might use that particular word yes. simpler. You know, for his sack. And uh, it goes to show that there is a lot. And so many of them have given reasons why Oshomole you know, should not be the, uh, the, the APC chairman because they believe that one, his approach to so many issues, you know, his reaction to issues, you know, his uh, uh, seemingly, if I might use the word of a basic uh, arrogance, you know, to issues regarding the political party or individuals, especially as it has to do with corruption. Even when you have the, you know, the government at the center preaching war against corruption. So if you have a man with a backlog, of that suggested allegations that has to do with corruption, he goes to show that uh, a lot is not moving well for Shomon. Now, you're a political analyst, so in your own view and opinion, what would you say it's the major reason why there's so much clamor for the removal of Shomele? It basically, you know, I think his personality goes to show a lot. You know, if you look at Shomele from the time he was coming from the Labour... Is it more about personality or performance now? No, but, uh, uh, you, they've, you know, when the deputy governor was making his allegation, deputy chairman of the political party in the centre, you know, he made some certain pronouncements regarding the states they've lost since o Oshomole became the chairman of the political party. You know, the, 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 this particular lack of understanding, his way of approach to issues, his pronouncements, you know, whenever there are issues, he has to do with Imo State, you know, so many states has been mentioned, yes. you know, and the, the, the suggestion people make regarding that or the allegation was that it was because of the approach of the chairman of the political party in the person of Oshomole. So it goes to show that uh, he has a lot, you know, that need to be adjusted if the political party wants to make some certain inroad into other states in the next election. Now, looking at this holistically now, here is the power of incumbency in the person of Obasaki and the power of might and the godfather himself, um, Oshomale. And there were claims within his camp that before now, um, Obasaka didn't stand a chance from just being um, a councillor, didn't stand a chance of being a dosti and the governor of the state. Now, what do you think eventually is going to play out here? And at the end, do you think the adult state people will benefit whichever way this turns out? No, it depends because Obasaka on... seems to f feel he has a, a whole lot to prove right now to the people of Edo State. And Oshoma, on the other end, wants to use the, the, the power of might to make a ridicule of, of, of Basaki, what would you think it eventually will play out in all of this scenario? The, the, the center has a lot to do regarding politics in Nigeria. And that is why, if you look at the background where Obaseki was coming out from why he made that comment that Buhari asked him, you see, you will discover that whether you are a party chairman does not give you the sole authority. After all, you know, there was a political, uh, the party chairman in the person of Digi Oyegu. When he was dealt with, the influence he had in the political party in the state diminished automatically. So if the center is behind you, automatically, whether you are the current party chairman, 
he has nothing to add to, to the political reality of the state. And as far as we are concerned, you know, based on the reality of politics in Nigeria, you have an incumbent governor that has almost all the you know, powers. Yeah. If I might use the, power, the, 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 the pronouncement of the former president, he said that governors have turned themselves into emperors. You know, as far as that tenure remains, you know, as far as that tenure remains, they have absolute power since they control the party machinery in the state. So what you have to add is something that the likes of uh, Ngige added, you know, when he came to power that they wanted to muzzle him out, he used performance. And I think that's what, that, that, that is the party, the, the angle Obaseko, Obaseke is going now to, to, to have the people behind him, yes. whether any other external influence might have a play, let the people have the say. And at the end of the day, you think Oshomale will lose in, for, in this? If the center is behind the basic, you, know, you, you, you know, you keep making reference to the center. No, that is then, the reality of our politics. Yes. Yeah, that is the reality of our politics. If the center, the center decides, you will see what happened in Kogi State and other states. You know, whenever, wherever you see the center having their, you know, this thing with a particular person, automatically you will discover that almost the, the pendulum will shift to that particular personality. Mm. Whether he's, out, whether he's a governor or not, anywhere the center, you know, has their interest, you will discover that the pendulum will shift to that particular angle. And in this stance, let's, let's take a look at it at the end of the day. Do you think Oshomale, the person of Oshomale, will eventually be sacked, be removed eventually? It has happened before in the APC. Okay. There was once an Odigi Oyegu, and today there is no Odigi Oyegu. So if they decide that Oshomale will not be there, if the interest in the party, you know, decides to take away the, the, the party ch chairmanship from Oshomo, yes. they will take him out. It's politics. It's about interest. It's about those that want, you know, a change. It's about who wants what for the political party in the state. Yes. If they look at it well, holistically, and discover that Oshomo will be a clog in the wheel of progress to the political party, they will take him out. It's as simple as that. But so far, he has proven to be that. I mean, and do you think it was just it be an easy decision for the center, even as it is, because he played a major role for the center also in Edo State. So, would you think that would be an easy decision to just totally take him off, sideline him? Anything can happen in politics in Nigeria. It depends on who and who has the battle in their hand. And I think uh, Obaseke, with what, if you look at the, the approach of Obaseke, you will discover that I don't think uh, he's an issue, he's issue for some certain characters within the party, party to subdue. Edo State has a peculiarity. You know, if you look at Edo State, you cannot say he is bringing an Ezi Yamu. You understand me? That is who Oshemole is trying to bring, you know, to replace Obasiki. So what is the political uh, 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 distance of Ezi Yamu to challenge an Obasiki? That is where I have my issues. Yeah. So I don't think immediately that particular party chairmanship is taken away from him, his relevance diminishes. Well, right, let's, let's talk about the center and the, ult the ultimate center that you've been making reference mm. to right now. I mean, if indeed President Mahmoud Bar did give the, the direction that he should be removed, and what are his chances? What, what, what chances does he have in the, as the person of Oshoma and himself? What yeah. are his options? You see, what is happening within the political party called APC is something that uh, some of us are not really happy about because yeah. one, everything about APC is centered on the president. Everybody uses the president as a backup. Uh, the, the, the president is behind me from Kogi to anywhere that one election is always about the president. That Buhari influence is always there. And you can't take it away from APC as a political party. You understand me? And uh, if you look at Buhari as a person, you will discover that he has this particular fellowship. You can't take it away from him, even from every time from the time he started contesting, 2003, 2007. He has always these 10 million voters at his back. You understand me? So he is a very big asset to the political party. And that is the fear of some certain people about when, since he has completed his tenure, you know, what is going to happen after that. So I think if the center, the influence of the center in APC can never be you know, overestimated. The influence of the center can never be overestimated. Now, some will argue the fact that 
it's okay for two politicians to fight, that the people get to benefit from it. What do you see the people of Edo State benefiting from what is going on currently between Oshomalia and the government of the state? For now, just like the example I made about Anambra State, Anambra people enjoyed it during the time uh, Chris Shuba was having issue with Ngige. After that kidnap, governance in Anambra State changed because the influence of that godfatherism, you know, disappears. You know, there was that allegation of two billion being given every month, you know, from the budget of Anambra State. And if you look at so many places in all the states in the Federation where you have that influence of that godfather, you know, that godfather thing there, you will discover that it has always been a no-no for the people. You understand yes. me? Because the godfather takes over all decides who gets what, what happens. Whenever his influence is not, you know, is not there, you will discover that that particular policy will not sell or that particular issue of governance will not be felt by the people. So if you look at what is happening now, realistically, I will tell you that Edo people will not be finding it easy now because two elephants are fighting. Yes. And there you have the other section, what do they call it? Is it e, 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 EPM, EPM or so, EPM. you know, being on the side of Oshomole and the real system within Edo State on the side of uh, Obaseke. Yes. So it's not good for, for, for governance, you know, in one way, but in the other way, based on the reference I made regarding the former Anambra State, yes. you will discover that the people of Edo State if an Obaseke will still, you know, make sure that his foot is on the ground, I believe the Edo people will, will benefit more from this particular issue they're having in Edo State. Okay, now, um, before, before we leave this topic alone, I just want to actually ask the political analysts, the, the ongoing feud between these two, what does that say for our politics as it is at this point in time? No, it's good, for our, no, it's good for our politics. You know, politi politics in Nigeria is all about interest. Why I'm not celebrating their feud is because you will remember that some months back there was a reconciliation. Yes. After the first issue came up among them, you know, there was a re reconciliation. Some certain things, we adjustments we are made, and before you know it, this thing starts again. So I'm not celebrating it because I don't know whether this is the end of that particular feud. Because tomorrow is all about interest. If Oshomole is giving what he wants, he can change. If an Obeseke is giving what he wants, he can change. So, and by then, nothing will come out of it for the people of Edo State. So, but if they are sincere that there must be that particular brouhaha, you know, or some certain confusions with them, and it was real, or it later became real, you know, from the reality of things, the people of Edo State will enjoy it because that influence of Godfather will not be there, and real governance will take place in Edo State. Political analyst Larry Minike, thank you very much for your contributions. Thank you very much. We'll go for a quick break, and we'll come back. It's more on Plus Politics. <laughs>